go you know the greatest miracle that can happen in anybody's life is the miracle of a changed life yes i am as overwhelmed as you are tonight you've seen a blind healed you've seen non-verbal autism re reversed you've seen cerebral, cerebral palsy so many people rose up from their wheelchairs and crutches dropped you know someone said after american conference i never used to believe these things until i saw it happen in front of me and he was writing about it on social media and tonight you have seen what this god can do there are people who are here you don't know jesus you've not received him as your personal lord and savior let me tell you the greatest mandate of the church we bless god for the miracles but that's not it all if you see these miracles and you've not received jesus in your life this this whole thing we did here would have been a waste but i do know there are people who are here who are saying pastor please pray pray with me i know i'm not close to god it's possible i've been on nsppd but i don't know this god and if that is you tonight and you're saying i want to remember the 10th of august as the day i took that decision to live for jesus the second nsppd conference that was held in twickenham stadium i want to remember that day and you're saying pastor i want to surrender my life to jesus people there's still a place called heaven and there is still a place called hell what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul tonight i present to you a jesus that loves you that's been asking for you he's been checking on you he doesn't just want you to come to this meeting and leave the same way you came and if you're saying to me pastor jerry away from all the needs i came to this meeting with i know some of you travel from different countries to be here and if that is you raise your right hand and if you're saying pastor i want to receive jesus i'm not close to god i don't know him i don't have a relationship with him if that is you lift up your right hand and you're saying pastor i want to receive jesus as my personal lord and savior please say this prayer after me say lord jesus come into my life come and be my lord and personal savior forgive me my sins cleanse me sanctify me and make me pure and whole again amen if you say this prayer it simply means that you're born again you are changed can i pray for you right now i decree let the power to be called the son and daughter of god let the power to live out the life of Jesus let it be made fully manifest in your life the chain of sin is broken I wish the congregation would thunder a louder amen the chain of addiction is broken the chain of setback is broken let your amen thunder louder